Yo, how's it going guys, your boy here, and welcome to some Madden 21, guys. We are finally on the game, the EA Access slash EA Play, wherever you consider it, trial, just drop the tower trial, and you guys know we have got to get on the game. We had some complications, which really, really pissed me off, which I feel like it happened every year, but, I mean, we're finally on the game, we're finally on Ultimate Team. As you guys know, I start off every single Madden season, every single, my first Madden video of every single Madden game. It's got to be a pack opening. As you guys can see in the top, we got 24,000 points. So I'm bringing you guys actually two bundles, two episodes, two bundles. And we're just going to hop right into it, guys. So, guys, last year on Madden 20, I feel like it was definitely a breakout year for this channel right here. And we're planning on making Madden 21 the same thing. So, honestly, guys, we're back at it on the grind. I know I took a break after a while for Madden 20 just because I stopped doing content. I wanted to save myself for Madden 21 here. We finally have it, so we're gonna open up some packs today. I'm thinking what we're gonna do is that for we're gonna split this up into two pack openings. This first one's gonna be the 24 times gridiron bundle, and then probably the next one is gonna be maybe the elite pack bundle. I just wanna fill out the team, see what we get, do a gameplay with it, and then while we're doing this, we can talk about the channel, what series you guys can expect, because I got a lot of plans for Madden 21. Some more content for you guys. Definitely all Saints team coming back, which was your favorite series, my favorite series too. And honestly, we're going to have a lot of fun this year. So here we go. We're going to spend the 12,000 points on the 24 Grey Iron Bundle. And then we're going to back out. We're going to go and see all the other packs. I think I have like two packs that I got. All right, guys. So we got 24 Grey Iron Packs with three Elite Player Packs. This is going to be pack opening number one. And then the second one, I think we're going to do that 10 times Elite uh, Player Pack Bundle while opening up like extra single uh, Grey Iron Packs. But we also have two packs right here. We have a Mutt Loyalty or Batten Loyalty Tier 3. I guess that was for like however many packs you opened up for the Mutt Loyalty program. And we also have EA Play Monthly. So we're going to open up those two packs. We're just going to see what we can get out of these two. And then we'll hop into the actual bundle. I'm really excited for these pack animations because I haven't seen it yet. So far, I'm really liking like how it's looking. Like, the purple is actually pretty cool. It gives me like the power-up kind of theme of it. And come on. I mean, the only thing I'm having trouble with is like the game's a little bit laggy on like this, like I guess, launch day. The EA Access launch day, you can say, as it's still giving me tutorials and I don't want it. As I get Emmanuel Sanders to start out, and this can actually really help me right here because I'm trying to do the All Saints team early for you guys. Like I said, we'll talk about uh, everything as we go. So we got Emmanuel Sanders, we got Mark Ingram, which will also help too if we get his power up. Patrick Pearson, and we're only we're actually allowed to have three picks, so that's actually pretty cool. I already know I'm picking up Pat Pete, Mark Ingram, and Emmanuel Sanders, so they're gonna help us out for that first gameplay that we do right now. Alright guys, now for the EA Play Monthly Reward. If it's like uh, how it is on EA Access on Madden 20, I think it's literally just like a team gold player pack. Yep, team gold, gold team fantasy pack guys right here. We actually do get three of them, and I want to flip through these pretty quickly, but the animations are a little bit slower on this game, which I, I don't know, I'm not liking that much. Alright guys, so I, I don't know why, but the animations are just being really, really slow for me. So we're here on the at least one of our gold team fantasy packs. We have three of them. And as you guys know, I'm a Saints fan, and we're trying to get the All Saints team going. So we're going to go three Saints packs, and then we'll actually hop into the bundle right here. If you guys are enjoying the new Madden 21, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are excited for all the series I'm bringing, drop a like. I'll tell you guys in a second once we start opening these packs. But as you guys can tell, one of them is definitely going to be the All Saints team, which I know you guys like. I feel like that's really what blew up my channel last year a little bit. And I'm hoping it can do go a little faster, too, this year. So we're going to bring the All Saints team early as... Dude, that goal animation actually looks really good as we get Taysom Hill first. I like that. I'm, I'm going to let the animations play out because I really want to see uh, what if we get an Elite in here. So, oh, Power Up. Power Up will help us too as we get a lot more Power Up. Any Saints player will really help us in this right here. I mean, I don't care. Like, people are, some, I know a lot of people are going for, like, oh, this team has, like, more Elite, so you'll get more chance with that. We're going with the All Saints team just so we can get all these guys filled out right here. Alright guys, time for pack number two. One thing I'm really looking for, one goal I have out of like at least these two pack homes I'm bringing you guys is definitely getting Michael Thomas because he's one of the higher overall leads, highs elite in the game as of right now. And I feel like it's going to be really, really hard or really expensive to buy him and really hard to pull him. So if we can get lucky, at least then maybe these all Saints fantasy packs or the all team as we do. Oh, wow. All right. We got an elite right there. I accidentally skipped the animation, but we got an A2 overall Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, I don't know what that is. That... Oh, okay, that's a rookie card, and we got Cesar Ruiz, too. Well, the good news is, of pulling that Emmanuel Sanders, that's definitely going to be immediate coins for us, so I'm happy about that, because we do have the Nat version of him, just from that first uh, EA uh, loyalty pack, I guess you could say, as we're going into the final All Saints team, or Saints Gold team player pack, I keep getting that pack name wrong, as, come on, give me something different, as we're getting at least a lot of positions that go into this lineup right here, which I'm actually really happy about. I mean, if we can get an Elite or something like that, another rookie card, so we got Tommy Stevens right there, and then we're going to finish off from the gold. But 
No elites, only one elite out of the three packs, which I still think is really good. And honestly, we're filling out positions for the All Saints team so I can bring it to you guys quicker. Alright guys, so those packs are out of the way now. Now for the main event, pretty much the Gridiron packs right here. Uh, this might actually be a long pack opening, because I know normally my first pack opens are pretty long, just because we're opening up these really big bundles right here. Already hopping into the first pack, as we get Von Bell right there. Not going to help us with the All Saints team, because he ended up signing with the Bengals, but... I mean, other than that, that's a good gold right there. These are going to be a lot of guys we can just sell day one as soon as the game drops, which I really like. And plus, this will help us in our first gameplay as we have 79 and 78 overall in the first pack. I'm looking for the elites, though. We need elites to make coins and everything like that because we got a lot of plans for you guys. I got no money spent series coming for you guys. As you guys know, we got the All Saints team hopefully coming very quickly, which is why I got to make some coins with that. I got squad builders for you guys. If you guys have any suggestions for squad builders, Make sure to comment down below. They'll be coming pretty soon too once I get enough coins to make it. But you'll still have your pack only that we got right now. We have the yard, which the yard I'm actually really, really excited about. You get a power up Joe Sherbert right there too. That's pretty good. Power ups will actually really help me in selling them a lot. But I mean, literally we got the yard too, which is a brand new idea for me. You guys are gonna see me ball out in the yard. I don't know what position I'm making yet though. Comment down below if you guys have any suggestions for that. What's the best one? Maybe you guys wanna see me at QB slash strong safety. We've got the first elite of the bundle. Shaq Mason right there, and all right, we're gonna take a look at stats. I didn't get to take a look at uh, my boy Emmanuel Sanders stats or even Ingram stats when we got them, but let's just see right here. As uh, all right, so this is a little bit, all right, this is a little bit different from definitely Madden 20 right here. Looking at the stats, I mean, I think it's like a little bit slower. I know it's for a fact, and then there's pretty much all of his stats right there. Um, literally 78 strength, 83 awareness. 78 pass blocking, and okay, not that bad stats. It'll definitely help us in this first gameplay, I'll tell you that. I think it's kind of funny because I feel like I pulled Shaq Mason the first day all the time here. I, I definitely feel like I pulled him last year, so we're going to keep continuing on the pack as we're getting more gold. I mean, one elite down, that's a good sign. As we get two elites in one pack, that's an 85 overall Ronnie Stanley right there. The line's going to actually be pretty good for this first gameplay, I'll tell you guys that. As we're, I, I, I don't know why this... I don't know why I'm getting annoyed by how slow like the animations are. We gotta start flying through because we got a lot of packs right there. There's his stats right there, 84 pass blocking, run blocking 84, so that'll definitely help on the left tackle. We decided to run to that side with Mark Ingram, who's looking like to be our starting running back as of right now. So as of last year, guys, we're on a streak of pulling an 88 overall in our first bundle. We got Tom Brady last year, so I'm praying we at least get 180 overall. That would definitely make our first gameplay like a good specialized gameplay for that person, as that's still coming back for you guys as this pack is just a dud right here, pretty much. No elites or anything like that. We're just going to skip through the ones that don't need elites. We'll stop on all elites, especially, like, uh, maybe not the 80 overall. It depends on what player it is, but, I mean, I'm really hoping we get a higher overall player. I'm really excited for this year, getting some gameplay out. I mean, uh, I think it's going to be a really good time as, all right, we're, we're hitting a couple of dud packs. I mean, we might, we might need to back out real quick and let the packs uh, reset. We're just going to keep going through these packs right here. I mean, so far, they kind of calmed down since that's two elite pack. I mean, the highest overall pull is 85. I'm hoping to beat it right now as, uh, okay, it's looking like not in this pack, though. Let's just keep scrolling. I mean, the animations, I'm really liking this year. EA always tops their animations, I feel like, every single year, which is pretty cool as, uh, come on, we need, we need something special out here. We need, like, a good elite or something. Maybe, like, I don't even know if the legends are in this game, but, wow, we are... Just getting dud packs even though we are dropping money on packs guys i will be bringing a no money spent series i made an account separate just for that so if you guys like no money spent you have that to watch i'm really trying to bring out like a well-rounded kind of like madden experience for you guys with no money spent pack openings theme teams squad builders everything like that as we get michael thomas power up right there that's gonna be really really clutch right there he's probably going for a lot right there and we also got the sean watson i mean i'm pretty sure this power up is going for a lot because you have to pull it and plus, day one, people want it. So that's going to definitely save me some coins right there for the all Saints team. Michael Thomas is huge. I really do need elite in these packs, though. I need something. I need something good. So we got to keep flipping around. I mean, we just got to keep praying that the pack luck is on our side. Definitely next pack only we'll see a lot more elites because we are doing the elite uh, player packs. So hopefully we can pull some higher overall ones. We'll at least be guaranteed elite in each pack right here. But at the end of this bundle, we will have some more elites. All right, any day, give me, come on, give me an elite EA. As, okay, we got Hunter Henry right there. We got we got the tight end right there at least. We got at least one receiver for our, whoever our quarterback is going to be. The stats aren't that bad. 77 speed, which I like. 83 catching. Definitely might be in my target right here if I don't pull up a wide receiver. I'm not trying to get greedy, but I think we need definitely more elites in this. I mean, I'm definitely noticed, like, last year, I think I pulled a lot more elites out of these gridiron bundles, which is maybe a problem because maybe the pack odds went down, but 
Come on, give me something pretty good. In this pack, I mean, if we're just getting duds the whole entire time. That's going to be pretty disappointing. But, okay, Sam Darnold's looking like he might be our quarterback right now if we don't pull an elite one at the end of this. So, Sam Darnold, the guy who sees ghosts, will actually end up being our starting QB, depending on how the rest of the pack of one goes. With 70 speed, maybe I can scramble a little bit, but not really sure. All right, we got another tight end power up right here. I definitely feel like my commentary skills are definitely botched since I took a break from Madden 20. It's been like a solid like two or three months since I haven't posted, but we're finally back. We're coming in full force for you guys, so make sure to comment down below, like if you guys have any preferences on kind of videos, pack overs you guys want to see. I'll definitely bring them to you as. Jeez, oh my god, these packs are really trying to calm down on me. I mean, ever since that double elite pack, I'm actually kind of annoyed with my pack look right now. We did really good getting an 85. Come on, I want to try and keep the streak alive by getting an 80 overall. I want to get hyped. I want to be happy to pull Michael Thomas because that would really help me with coins wise and i really don't feel like spending any coins right here as all right we might we might be building up some coins with some of these goals at least on launch day but as of right now i'm saving definitely all of my cards until launch day because i know their price is gonna get jacked up because people are gonna want to buy all these as we get kareem jackson power up right here oh okay we finally got an elite back that's gonna be 82 micah hyde so he's gonna be our free safety thank you another back-to-back -back elite pack 80 overall xavier howard so we got a cornerback right there so we don't actually three elites in a row that's gonna be 82 pat pete that's definitely something i'm gonna sell because we definitely pulled his nat card as oh, oh wow i was about to say four or four elites in a row that definitely makes up for the packs that we did not get any elites right there that's a triple elite pack to start out this year in madden which is pretty insane now, I'm actually kind of happy about that, I, but I need better results out of all these other packs, too. That pack was definitely fired. Like, I just wish all these other packs were off the par as, yeah, literally, these are just crap. I really shouldn't try and just crap on Madden day one, but pack luck is awful. I need my pack luck to be better. I mean, normally, my pack luck is all right. Not great as, okay, Janoris Jenkins right there, a nice Saints player for me. That will be good for the cornerback position. We need a Lattimore elite player, at least. If we can get a couple of Saints elite players, I'll be definitely happy. I mean, I know we got a good amount right there. I feel like Ryan Rancheck and the uh, Toronto Arms there are going to be a little more expensive. As thank you for starting off the pack of the elite. 80 overall Kyle Fuller. So our cornerback core is definitely looking very, very solid with back-to-back -back cornerback pulls. As nothing else after that. Wow, guys, these packs definitely flew by. Seven packs left, and then we got our three elite player packs. I mean, I definitely think we got a good amount of elites. I just really want a high overall elite that we can actually show for game one of our thing or of our gameplays at least and we got Taysom Hill to start out I might just need to pick someone up off the auction block and see how many coins I can get as uh yeah we're really just getting duds right here we got Taysom Hill again maybe I'm a, I might put him at quarterback instead of Sam Darnold that would be pretty cool to have Taysom Hill right there it's over Sam Darnold unless we pull an elite I mean come on EA gotta give me an elite quarterback or elite elite right wide receiver too along with Emmanuel Sanders will really help me right there as uh oh wow god damn these these packs are ass bro like, why am I getting such dud packs? Hopefully, I'm praying that the Elite Bundle that we do next is going to be better, though. As, uh, alright, nothing good. Jesus Christ. Jeez, I'm freaking scrolling through these packs and getting absolutely... Wow, wow, I'm getting... Wow, I'm getting my money taken from me. Come on, Elite. Elite, I need, I need an Elite. I need at least one to actually finish off these seven packs. At least a high overall Elite to finish off these seven packs. I was nope! Like, well, guys, looks like my one-year streak of pulling an 88 on the first bundle it might be over this year on the second year i guess you can't even call that a streak which uh this is kind of crap i hope you guys actually like the new background music as i skipped the animation but we got matthew ju on left outside linebacker and let's take a look at his stats real quick i mean maybe it might be my user depending on how fast he is well not bad for matthew judon 74 speed definitely looking like my user unless i think that mutt master sam mills is already have a faster speed than him that's actually crazy too guys i mean i know you guys have a lot of saints fans that come on and see my videos and what are your opinions on sam mills being the mutt master like i think it's actually a really good plus because we get like really high overall middle linebacker which normally we don't get i mean normally demario davis is our cap best linebacker on this all saints team but now we got Sam Mills, who's definitely going to be a 99 overall. 99 overall Sam Mills later in the year might be pretty good. I know people are talking about, oh, I might not get him because uh, his hot size, I guess, 5'9", isn't that bad. But the speed might actually help. I mean, the jump balls just might hurt us. But other than that, I'm really excited to actually have a really, really good middle linebacker to actually use her with. That's not like Demario Davis or not needing me to bring down one of my safeties to actually run around with as... Come on, give me something. Oh, wow, I skipped over Gerald McCoy. Gerald McCoy got done dirty by the Cowboys. Cowboys, I don't know. What are your opinions on that there? I mean, literally, he got cut just because he got injured. 
and that's insane Ooh, wow we're actually on the elite packs right now i did not notice that i already pressed x but okay we're guaranteed at least one elite packs you guys already know the packs pretty much these guys have been in packs for a while now or been in the game for a while i should say i think at least two years as please don't give me my uh, i really hope that's not my guaranteed elite harold laundry no He's stupid Landry, laundry i probably laundry or landry i should say as okay we got two michael brockers right there we got a pass rusher i like that and all right we got at least two right there but i want to at least get 185 plus before the end of these packs right here or else i might have to pick up someone from the auction block to show off for you guys but other than that come on give me something good as okay not bad we as long as we get our elite really high or we get multiple elites as anthony costanzo uh, I, I don't know. I mean, you guys know I can't pronounce names really right. Anthony Costanzo, Costanzo, uh, he, 82 overall, left tackle. We probably won't need him because we already have a Ronnie Stanley. Not that bad. We need at least one more elite in this pack. We need at least two. Oh, crap. Well, it's all down to the last pack, guys. 85 plus or definite bust right here for this pack opening. I might just do back-to-back -back pack openings for you guys. And we might just hop into the elite player packs and then do our gameplay because... I need something really good. I need like a good 85 plus skill position player that I can show off for you guys as. All right, Elite right here. Oh, okay, 84 Rock Gronkowski. That might actually be my guy I show off to you guys as. All right, that's definitely gonna end this pack opening. Well guys, and after every single Madden pack opening that I do on the first day of Madden, I always gotta generate the best lineup possible to see. So we're gonna go just strip Jess Barrett, best team overall. And I know Rock Gronkowski's gonna be my starting tight end. And he's probably gonna be the star player for this episode or for this first gameplay right here. I hope you guys did enjoy the pack opening. I hope you guys do enjoy the background music. Let me know as we got to a 79 overall right here. Sam Darnold's gonna be probably my starter unless maybe I'll, I'll probably play in Taysom Hill just for fun. But our wide receivers are looking pretty good. We got Hunter Henry at fullback. Mark Ames gonna be our starting running back as, oh my God, dude, the animations are, like the loading speeds are so slow on this, it's funny as hell. But I'm gonna play in Taysom Hill. 82 speed, I wanna see how he does. If we got a sub in Sam Darnold, I will. But other than that, guys, this is going to be the offense right here as it pops up very, very slowly on the screen. We got Taysom Hill as our starting quarterback. Mark Ingram as our running back. Power up Michael Thomas as our third slot wide receiver. Emmanuel Sanders. Jerry Judy, the rookie, as our wide receiver number two. Gronk, which will probably be our like main focus of the gameplay. But we'll also get highlights of everyone else. Our highest overall pull, 85 overall. I'm pretty disappointed that we didn't get anything higher than 85. But Ryan Stanley's going to be our highest overall on the team. And then we also have the defense right here. I'm actually happy that we got a lot of secondary guys. We got good cornerbacks and good safeties as well that help cover so we don't get burned. All I'm praying for is we don't run into Tyree Kill my first game or else I'm getting burned by that 90 speed every single time. Hopefully Pat P can make some plays on whoever his number one uh, wide receiver is. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to comment down below any ideas that you guys want to see for this Madden year. I'm bringing you guys a bunch of series, a bunch of content possible. Make sure to check out the next video where we do end up doing the gameplay with this original squad. After that, will be the Elite Player Pack opening. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys all next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and peace out. Let's go! And that's going to be... That's, that's a game right there. I'm, I'm taking it to the house. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Pick six. Use your pick six. Malcolm Jenkins as Randy Moss.